Hello, everyone, our dearest audience members. I'm host and creator of Indian Channel and Words for Mercenaries, Christopher Lyman. I'm the sole creator except for Max, my studio technician. He makes all of this possible. He creates this beautiful world of sound. It can also be said he is a creator alongside myself. So I'll have to be uh, comprehensive in the information I bring to you. Before we begin our next episode of Indian Channel, I would like to bring your attention to the Anthropocene and what's happening in the Anthropocene. I want to bring every last bit of your attention to the issue of bees going extinct. These pollinators which bring us so much nutrients on planet Earth are dying off. Their numbers are dwindling. I would like to advise you to do everything you can to increase their numbers. Uh, plant pollinator-friendly flowers in your garden. Attract as many of them as you can. Stay away from chemicals which hurt them. The pesticides are really much of the problem. They have caused the death of a lot of honeybees. Stay away from it. Find alternatives. This can be done if we think. It's very hard to think. It's very hard to think, but we can think. We can do it. We've done it before. We can do it again. We need to help the honeybees, attract them to our gardens, and we need to do this on a daily basis in order to increase their numbers and essentially, I hope you don't mind the phrase, but this is really what's going on. Save the planet. We have to save the planet. And uh, thank you so much for listening and thank you for your help. Uh, stay away from uh, doubles and hybrids, sterile plants, which really don't do anything. They bring a lot of co color to the neighborhood, but they don't really do anything else. Uh, they're useless. And so if we could just create areas, uh, see what we can do around the hybrids and the doubles. You know, people have them, great, but what can we do around all of that? We have to keep these things, we have to keep these bees going, don't we? Thank you so much for your help. I'm glad I could bring this to you, and hopefully a lot of you are already doing this. In fact, I, I trust uh, many of you are, but we need more people to do it. It's so vital. We need all of this to be going on. So, having said all of that, we can now begin our next episode of Indian Channel. Wake up, Christopher! <clears throat> oh, man, I wish I would have stayed asleep. That was, that was really refreshing. What, huh? What's going on? You are now in the labyrinth. The, the labyrinth. Dear man, it's awfully dark in here. The seed is nice. The seed is all right. Uh, it's really dark in here. You, the, the labyrinth. Dear man, this, uh, these aren't, this isn't relatable. I'm awfully, feel awfully estranged to, to this environment. Where was he? God, it's so dark. Where are you? I'm in front of you, Christopher. Call me Chris, man. That's a bit impersonal. You're in the labyrinth of your life's mistakes. My life's mistakes? Yes. All of your mistakes have led you to this culmination. This one moment. Really? Hey, man, uh, you got an odd way of treating people. Why now? Why is this happening? All of your life's mistakes. All of your plans, your devices, the people you have hurt, have led you to this. To what? Can you, can you be more specific? To cookie lusting. Co cookie lusting? No, no cookie lusting. No <laughs> lusting for cookies. Oh yes, Christopher, you have brought yourself to this. Your sweet tooth knows no bounds. It only knows pain and pleasure, indivisible. Pain and pleasure, indivisible. No, please. Oh, yes. What was that? That is the... You could call it the universe's largest opening of door. No opening of door. To what? To look cookies. No! Not the cookies! Yes. Double chocolate chip. No! So steaming. So delicious. So sweet. Ah! <laughs> yes, this is my cookie. Baked from my oven. Happy are they who come to my deserting. No! No! 
Oh, it's so good. Oh, cookies are so good. I don't know, Doug. I don't know. Hey, man, did you get one of those before you came in? No, I didn't. I'm quite hungry. They didn't, we didn't do the craft service table before we set up. No, we didn't at all. I'm irritated. Yeah, hey, man, we want to try one of these? Yes, I would. Thank you so much. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good, right? Yeah, it's, re it's really good. Thank you, Christopher. So, Doug, uh, would you mind introducing the next episode of Indian Channel? It would be my pleasure, Chris. Thank you, Doug. And take it away. Welcome all to Indian Channel. <laughs> How was that, Chris? Perfect. Thank you, Doug. Hello, audience, members from across the globe. This is Indian Channel. I'm your host, Atmanabad Shaitan, with my, with my assistant, Bob. Bobby! Welcome, Bobby, are you there? I'm here for you. I'm here. Mm, shit. I'm here for you, sir. I'm always here for you. That's okay, you'll be fired anyway. Fired is the word for you. Ladies and gentlemen, first we want, before we introduce the, the, most, the most pleasurable guest in captivity, Jeff Goldberries. Jeff Goldblum, sir. Jeff Goldberries, I like to say Jeff Goldberries, man. Do you want to get on my, get on my case for, for calling him Jeff, Jeff Goldberries? This man is loved across, across the world. He's international. You want to get on my case about this man? He's just... Uh, well, you know, for the sake of correctitude, maybe you should introduce, introduce guests appropriately. Or you know what, man? Yeah, I could do that. But you have to give me one thing. Guess what it is, Bob? What is it, sir? I'll do that for you, but guess what has to happen? Oh, I, I have no idea. You're all fired, get it? <laughs> oh, Bobby, thanks for being here. Okay, so, but before we introduce Jeff Goldberry, we have, I know some of us are terribly out of shape. And it is very difficult, Bob, you know, to get back into shape, even after, you know, I've abused you as much as I have, you know. It is very hard to get back in the best shape of your life. You know, man, Bob, I remember when you were a buck 30, you know, you were a buck 30 in shape, man, you know, but now you are about 98 pounds, you know, I, but I remember when you were a buck 30, you know, because we, we were feeding you a lot, you know, because we, we, when we, back when you were 50 pounds, you couldn't lift up any of this studio equipment. So, you know, it's very hard for us to, to get back into shape and to be kind to ourselves. So in the interest of all that, we want to encourage people to get back into shape. And we have our guest to help us with that, Sigourney Weaver. Everybody, take us, take us, take us to Sigourney Weaver. Oh, everybody, we are now on site with the uh, in Sigourney Weaver's gym. And what the hell does it, what the hell have I stepped on? Some kind of strange goop. What the hell does it look like a nest in here, an alien creature's nest? Well, you know, hey guys, I'm Sigourney Weaver. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for having us. So, so a lot of people have gotten in shape with your exercise. They have gotten intensely on, on, on an intense performance level with you and they have gotten the greatest shape of their lives. That's correct, they have. So, Gurney, we'll, how, show us how to do that, because Bob and I, our sex lives have been terrible. We have not been able to um, like, copulate as well as we, as we could. Well, you know, maybe, well, don't, you know, you don't have to be that private. You can tell me anything about your, your, your lives. Um, 
Well, what would you like to know first? Well, you know, we want to get back into the best shape of our lives. And, you know, I'm sure that you have to watch your diet, or maybe you don't. Well, no, if you adhere to these few exercises I have, you can really just about eat anything you want to. I <laughs> think you're certainly not this good, Bunny from And why the hell is it steaming in here? God damn! It's like a sauna. And what the hell is that growling creatures, uh, figments of your imagination, Ahmed? Continue. Oh, well, uh, what, uh, what, um, what exercises would you show us how to do that? To get back into shape, you know, to be in the West, to have a more sex drive? What would you do? Well, I really only have a few. And please participate with me, everybody at home, you know, get in your living room. The reason it's like an alien nest in here is I want to get you very serious. I want to get you very involved in a survivalist situation. I want you to be able to to really recognize how much you need to react to the problems in your life. That's why it is the way it psychologically it just seems to work, you know. Really, I don't think you you try to give us another kind of setting. Don't you think well I'll if do you want to do the exercising video or do you want me to do it? I don't appreciate any dis okay, no disrespect in your gym. So, what what we do first? Oh, oh you, ooh, you're touching me, Sigurd. Well, you're very slim, Ahmed. You're very out of shape. But here's what we need to do. Ready? Weak, wild. Well, God, dear, dear. This is very, mm, this is very vulnerable. What you need to do is bend all the way over. Bend all the way over. Oh, yeah. This will get all of your vertebrae realigned. I like to call this one being screwed by James Cameron. Bend all the way over being screwed by Ridley Scott. Bend all the way over being screwed by an, by an alien. God, this feels, it feels like I'm being fucked. But you're not, not as good as when Bobby and I bend all the way over, all the way over. Please participate. Bend all the way over. Oh, God, all the way over, all the way over. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, now rapidly bring yourself back up, as if, as uh, rapidly bring... Uh, ah! Ah, thank you, Sigourney, thank you very much. Do you feel better? Do you feel more alive? That, you, that you've been relieved? You feel your, you, you feel your posture getting better? Yes, I do. Who knew it would take being screwed? Oh, God, what? You know what? I am pumped. I have not felt this good in a long time. I'm ready to fire Bob and kill some more people. I am ready. Let's, let's keep doing this. What's the next one? God. The next one is, okay, now stretch and, and just wiggle all around. Wiggle all around, okay? Stretch, wiggle all around. Just I'll get flabby, you know? Make sure you're real loose so that fat can just melt off your body. Oh, God, I'm so loose. I'm feeling it. It is great. And this one's called You're Escaping the Alien Nest. You're Escaping the Alien Nest. How does it feel? Oh, God, I'm so loose. It is great. Oh, thank you, Sigourney. Okay, the, 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 okay, be still, be still. You don't have to shake that much. Ooh, shaking, it's so great. I'm so ready to fire, Bob. Come on, come on, Ahmed. We're ready to move on to the next exercise. Okay, okay everybody, next exercise. What's the next exercise? Put your leg up all the way, all the way. Oh, my God, what is happening to me? I'm going to just... I'm going to just stretch my leg out like this. It's okay, I'm gonna grab your leg. I'm gonna grab your leg and stretch it way out, stretch it way out. This is called being broken in two by the alien queen. Being broken in two by the alien queen. You know what? It's it's only as painful until that final moment, isn't it? I feel great. I feel like, uh, you know, that, that, that we have created more room for an erection. To be possible, it is not as difficult to become erect. That's the point. That's the, you know, you said it. That's the whole point of this exercise, is to get people more aligned and in tune with their sex lives. How do you feel? I feel great. What's, uh, what's the next one? You know, that's all, that's all we have. Are, are you quite serious? That's it? Well, you know, you don't, you, people, you know, think you need to lift weights and do all this stuff, you know, go jogging for three miles, you know, until your ankles are really swollen. But you don't really need to do all of that. With these, uh, with this minimum uh, working place, you should be optimal within a month, you know, and then just provided you do it every day. Thank you. 
Thank you, Sigourney. I appreciate it. So, everybody, it has been such a pleasure with our gym, our gym teacher, Sigourney Weaver. Give her a, give her a big hand. Bob, get in here, Bob. Give, give her a big hand. Thank you so much, everybody. All right. Thank you, Sigourney. Thank you very much, Sigourney Weaver. No problem. No problem, Ahmed. It was my, it was my favorite experience. And, you know, out of all the ones I've done, thank you. Thank you, Sigourney. Oh, God, it feels so good. Okay, big smooch. Big smooch, thank you. Exercising, working out with Sigourney Weaver. God, if that doesn't get you into shape, nothing else will. Next up on Indian Channel, special guest Jeff Goldblum. Yes, Jeff Goldberries. You know what they will say? They will say we have gone gold. We have gone platinum. We're in way over our heads. <laughs> Everybody, stay tuned.